So this is Ullage, the missing part of my previous video. Sounding and Ullage, a small job that is done every day on board. As previously explained, we do this in order to know the volume of a liquid inside a tank, be it a water tank, fuel tank, or oil tank. This is important for many reasons, such as calculating consumption of fuel or water. Also, if it is a tank that is monitored and it's abnormally filling, it could be evidence of a leak, such as a strange reading in a purifier drain tank. Anyway, if you are curious of sounding demonstration and calculation, you can check out both sounding videos that were previously made. In this video, we're going to focus on Ullage. But what is Ullage? Well, if sounding was using the measurement of the liquid's depth in a tank, then Ullage is the measurement of the empty space within a tank. We use any of these two measurements so we can enter the sounding and ullage tables, find the tank, and then calculate the internal volume of the liquid. Let's see what I'm doing here. First, one must decide how much tape to put out. You can see recent measurements to have an approximate guess or you can also take various measurements at different heights if you're unsure. Here, I approximately know that the tank level is around the 2 meter mark. So, I place 211 centimeters of tape and then pull out. After pulling out the tape and bob, we'll inspect and see how much got wet. Here we can see that the bob got wet at 5 centimeters. So the tape measurement minus what was wet would be the distance between the sounding pipe and the liquid level surface. This is what we call ullage, which is 211 centimeters minus 5 centimeters, which would be 206 centimeters of ullage. So why didn't I sound? Imagine, if the tank depth would have been 11 meters, imagine sounding all that 11 meters and having stained 9 meters of tape. That would have been a lot of cleaning and we could also risk creating a vacuum when we pull up the tape, which could cause the internal fuel in the pipe to spill. Simple, right? And remember that a ship has many tanks. Time wasted sounding instead of doing ullage when a tank is full is time that could have been used elsewhere. But when do we sound or take ullage? Basically, when the liquid level is low and the tank is almost empty, we will sound. And if the tank level is high, and the tank is almost full, we will use ullage. The calculation procedure between sounding and ullage is almost the same. However, keep in mind that instead of looking at the sounding depth, we will check the ullage inside the tables. Also remember to keep in account the trim of the ship, which is the difference of height between both ends of the ship because as previously explained in the other video, liquids are affected by the free space and the movements of the ship. Let's do a small example here. Our ullage was 206 centimeters. And after checking, our trim is at minus one. So it's a little astern, which is good because it keeps our propeller underwater. Anyway, we don't have a measure for 206 exactly in our tables, 
but we do have one for 205 and 210. The fast answer would be to estimate slightly above the 205 measurement for the volume. However, if we want a more precise estimate, we can interpol. So just like the previous videos, let's do an example of interpolation. So in the sounding tables, you'll have the measurement of the ullage and the different volumes depending on the trim. So looking at the table, the information that we have is that at 205 centimeters of ullage, we have 130 cubic meters of liquid. At 206 centimeters of ullage, which we measured, we don't know because it's not in the table. And at 210 centimeters of ullage, we have 120 cubic meters of liquid. Let's say that the volume we don't know is X. So the difference between 205 and 206 is 1. And the difference between 205 and 210 is 5. Let's look at the other side. The difference between 130 and X, which we don't know, we also don't know. So we'll call that Y. And the difference between 130 and 120 is 10. So with that, it'll be 1 over 5 equals Y over 10. Let's go to the next step. If we try to isolate the Y by multiplying 10 on both sides, we will get that y equals 1 over 5 times 10, which is basically saying 10 over 5, which would be 2. So y was the difference between 130 and x. So since the trend is going down, it would be 130 minus y, which was 2, and we would get 128 cubic meters. With this interpolation, we found the volume of the ullage measurement we took. This volume information is great to keep track of the tank level, as we engineers use this to plan maintenance, calculate consumptions, record changes in our oil record book, and much more. A big future example is in bunkering where we must monitor various tanks as they are filling and calculate not just the volume, but the mass of the liquid inside. But this is a topic for another video. So that was ullage. <laughs> Again, I apologize that I didn't explain it very well in my previous video. It was more like just a passing mention. But now you can see a more in-depth view of this small job. For engine department, usually ullage is done for big tanks, which are storage tanks. And this is also very important to calculate consumptions of our main engine and other equipment. Ugh. Anyway, I think this has gone long enough. Remember, this is a small job with a big impact and very important. Therefore, do it with care and be proud of honest work. Success and nothing else, Seafair. Until next time, all the best.